and this is Jude in, um, give me a minute guys, in, hmm, wait, tell me where guys, anyway, um, sorry guys, I couldn't find the year, but I'm going to tell you this right now, that um, the year is 18-something, which is way before John Marston, um, hit before John Marston's story of him hunting um, Dutch, Javier and Bill. So you actually, this is the actual first game. So I decided, I thought I might go through this one more time before... Um, putting this on YouTube, but I'm like, screw it, I'm getting annoyed, I just, yeah. Also guys, I don't know where all the legendary animals are, but um, I will show you, you have to do some hunting animals, um, hunting animals to unlock Master Hunter Challenge 9, so then you can hunt down this legendary animal but unfortunately it is really hard for me when uh because i'm stuck on um hunter challenge seven so i will need my phone to help me a little bit so yeah um i'm gonna go from the start guys and we're gonna do this trust me guys this is ps4 version red dead redemption 2 get it it's fun you just play as a character named Arthur Morgan before you play as John Marston. And it turns out it doesn't show a Pacific um, part. Um, yeah, so guys, um, they don't sh um, show the robbery they all tried to do in black water it just skips to the part where they escaped black water and they're on the and they are being hunted by some federal agents called pinkertons yeah they want dutch and if the group gets up judge they will stop hunting the rest but they will never give up dutch so i hope you enjoyed this video guys leave a comment in the um section below um yeah there you go 'Cause guys, John Marston is based in nineteen eleven. Just let me know that. And this is eighteen ninety nine. So you see the difference? Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh, Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. 
Let Davy rest, buddy. You know, an old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Sorry. Come on. Davy is part yeah. of Dutch's group. The ones that know how to use guns. So there's Dutch. So I'm going to go f uh, through them. That So back at Blackwater when they were robbing, there was... Um, there you go. Uh, there was Jenny, Mac, Davy, the one we have now, um, who's dying. Sean, um, Hosea, this guy right here. Bring him in here. Lenny. Um, Arthur, Micah. Javier, I mean, Miss Gaskell, yeah, Javier, get that fire Bill, lit quick. Dutch, Miss Jones, bring in whatever Josh. blankets we have. There's Mr. Pearson, Charles, see Bart. what we've got in terms of food. Yeah. That's all 13 people that dead. know how to use guns. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Davy's dead, guys. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent... John and Mike are scouting out ahead. Yeah. Arthur and I. So because right out. Jenny and Mac died yes. at the robbery Just for a short they, bit. at in no, Rock see what Water, other they we were have. robbing a boat, I think. But Listen. um Sean's Listen been me, taken. Ollie, for a moment. So he, we will find him soon. Now we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy. Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Can you still Glad. hear me pretty well? Sorry, guys. But. Yeah, sorry, guys. We are Just making sure out, I'm still on. And we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Now I'm just checking the time. Stay here, guys. with me. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. We ain't morning, done guys. yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? Mm. We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right, let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Coming up. Take it easy. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. 
No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkertons tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Yeah, so I'm playing this off right, guard. And Ask it didn't show the boat time. attack at Blackwater, hey, but Arthur doesn't John know what Michael. happened there because he wasn't Michael. there for the robbery. And we Dutch, Michael, and a few others do. He'll be fine. And Jose. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. There's my health gone. Pretty low. Let's hitch up here. Ugh. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that way. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some... There's a body food in the wagon. Yeah, just... Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please.
seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, the horse is closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. So you eat food, guys, to restore your health. Oh, Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. One Colmo dead. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Sorry about that guy, it's my phone. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. Yeah. On guys, we do do a f few robberies in this, but this one is better because in um, Red Dead Redemption, when you play as John, you only rob the train and that's it. But in this, you rob a few places, banks and shit. It's really good. <laughs> Poor bastard was married too. Saw Sadie, right, guys? When I examined the photo, yeah, you'll see her in a minute. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cat. See what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we 
you're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> with us. Arthur. Miss, it's no okay. Baby, God. We're bad men. We ain't them. Hold on. Yes. I got it's my okay. brother here too, guys. It'll be with me talking to you. Keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I. He. He was my oh. husband. So if I got I got annoyed with the game, so I decided to um restart it and record uh, it and put it on YouTube. Hey. Yeah. Somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, yeah. Dutch is back. How'd yeah. You get on? Yeah. Like I, I said, guys, I'm talking to Seth. They can we hear you too, first. Seth. So. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum. They beat us to it. Uh, uh. You broke up. Some of them there, but there is more about. Apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen. Would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. Mm. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed.
ain't been seen in days. The weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail? Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will well, be fine. Hold on, guys. Alright. I mean, just me now, guys. He again. may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's. We're all. Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. Oh, I'm back again. I'm back, guys. If the situation were reversed, you'd look for me. Thank you. Morning, fellas. How are we? This way. Ah, uh, good. John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. I'll be back, guys. There's no fucking horny hole in here. Fucking looking for another fucking. Yeah. I think this could be a hiding spot. Yeah, you'll just be on the dumpster. What happens if I come from behind ya? The Last of Us. Yeah. You can see me me hide out where we can get down behind here and put on ammo, uh, armor and shit. What's that, Ash? What happens if you get swamped from behind? Alrighty. I'm back, guys. <laughs> hey, I see some oh, no, fuck. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. We've completed one survival, we've almost completed the second survival, now we're doing this survival. Well, this is probably the OP spot. No, 
the right is on red dead, okay. Oh, I died. Oh, I was trying to get the chopper because everyone else was taking on men, and I fucking died because she weren't fucking doing shit. Caden's about dead. Caden needs help and Emma. Farmer. Going here. Beyond you, Caden. Beyond you. Beyond you, Caden. Get him, fish. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Did you put the garlic bread too? Oh yeah, give me some uh I was thinking about that fucking veranda ash. We should all find <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm back. I Recently. thought that I thought the guys I was talking to they did a thing that I did way. my sure, thing, well, you come know. On there. So yeah, thought give you guys a surprise to the bit, river. It's a bit annoying bus, talking sure. to people and talking to Yeah. Let's cross. See they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Easy. Davy got shot. Mac and John. Both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. God, you might <laughs> Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Two dollars eighteen, guys. That's good. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. This, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again.
John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's, let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shot. Gun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Come on. You sure about this? Over here! It's coming from this way! Okay. Watch out here. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. Okay, good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay Are close to the wall. Yeah, I got to build up my health and now it's gone down again. Up this way. now. Come on. We're coming, John! guys <laughs> this is everything just four things and uh I used to enjoy it. John can you hear me Austin John Austin you hear me it's John Austin though that's John we're coming That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. He's gone, guys. He played as when he did 19. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> I'm freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. 
made you a sorry sign. Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Uh, I'm sure you did. Oh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Draw them off. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Show up. some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Some help! We need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas! Uh, it's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. 
We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Right, guys, I Early in the spring, I had been hoping for. Just thought I'd give you a little warning. I'll just we get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose.
We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy... I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You All right. Let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Mm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Oh, watch it. Has deer been here? And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly.
tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Look, there they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Keep good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Quick, before they move. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your kids are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. When you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We we'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? 
We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. 
Get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Oh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, we said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> oh, you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb. and... You lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell? But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. Right now, guys, I would never doubt you, you, Dutch. Know you, how many, uh, you always dead. said revenge um, is a luxury we I can't did. afford. Matt, this is the Jenny right call, Dave, Arthur. That's take this. Dead. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about train. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said, follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, 
I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Easy. Good job. Hold up here. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Not even patrolling the binoculars, guys. It's Arthur that's doing all this. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Cole, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Just taking our time, guys.
Oh, watch out. This bit steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Okay, fine. You make the move.
Good work, boys. Back to the camp. We'll get what we need. around good work boys now let's tear this place apart bill you go search that wagon there mike search that building arthur you take that building to the left all right man quick Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work. Fellers. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Just let me go, come on. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Karen. Karen what? 
Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Come on, mister, P -p please! Shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. You're all right, boy. I have, have a heart, mister. Please, I'll do anything. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... 
I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier? You two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at it, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. How you getting off? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator.
Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay, boy. Remember the plan, all of you. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Really guys, watch it go wrong. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry guys. Alright. Waiting. Take patience. Guys. Unless. I need to Everything be okay? Here. I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Here you go, guys. Yeah, I had to be near Dutch. Sorry. I was my fault. Gentlemen, it's time. Watch your phone now, buddy. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Like I said, guys, this is where I went wrong. This is where it goes. Here we go, here we go! Half the asshole got caught. Half a lane. And lane didn't fall off. I'm slipping! I've got you! Now stop yelling! Help! Yeah, you're okay. Let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Come on, we need to stop 
this train. Sorry, guys, I'm just grabbing stuff. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. Leave a comment in the <laughs> section of the word, guys. What do you think of um, the first I robbery right there? Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. You got no way in here. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Get 
on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? <sighs> Not real. Sugar imports from West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. Come on! Let's hurry this along, boys. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. It's goddamn O'Driscoll's. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Well, keep looking. There must be something. How's it looking in there? This looks like something. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three, so behave. Come on, move! We won't tell a soul, I swear! Get a move on!
Yeah, you do lose your hat, but you could get your hat back um, by um, your infantry on the horse or going back to camp and collect and go change you your clothing and you'll see hats and you can choose whatever hat you want. So yeah. So yeah, guys. But I keep get, keep filling you on information and talking to you as if I can. So like I said, leave a comment in the section below what you thought of the first robbery. There you go, I got my hat again. <laughs> so we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Don't do your job. Here you go, guys. We're moving on to a new little hideout near Valentine. You're gonna love Valentine, guys. The missions I have. You, you find it funny? Well, I'll let you know when you can find it funny. We do good missions. I do these amount of missions and then we move on because um, it's the group that attracts attention or whoever is wanted in that quest, which is Dutch. Dutch actually has a more bounty on his head than the others. And the Lev Levicus Cornwall, um, Carl Madriscoll, the Pinkertons, which is the government agents they all want Dutch just Dutch and they will happily let the rest of the group live maybe not the Driscoll's but hey, um Micah, definitely the Pinkertons and yes boss uh, you two ride right up ahead make sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey Well, still says I'm on air, whoever's talking to me. Get us out the street! Okay, cool. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. <laughs> ah, shit! Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, <laughs> let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <sighs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well... Get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll 
We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated. What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. As we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me. You, Dutch, we've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. There I go. Fuck the mail guy. Thank God. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? No. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home.
place. It's Here perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you Here find, is, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. So whatever money or jewelry... Have girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morton. Come with I me. Still as you two will be ready shortly. We'll put you over here. I will put in that box. I'm sure everything and will be fine, that money. Mr. Shaw. It should be. Upgrade Most of your stuff camp. from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Couple weeks later, damn. You got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Alright, I got missions already, already guys, so uncle, I'm just gonna read these names, let's see, uncle, reverend, oh 
Oh, I know that mission. Don't worry, guys. That's the funny one I'm talking about. And who's this? Javier. Okay, guys. I'm thinking... Um... Valentine will be the start. Um, but... I won't start it yet. So, I'm going to go see what... Reverend wants. And then I'll see what... Uncle wants. And then I'll go do the boys. But right now, I got more to read in the journal and close the change. Which you can do only at your chance. Oh, and you could shave if you feel like you want to shave since Arthur's beard's getting a bit since it's growing. So yeah, you could do a lot of things, guys. That's it guys, uh, 9.25, mm. see guys, you can simply shave, you can't get a haircut um, yet, and you can't go to the barbers just yet, you have to progress further in the game to unlock that, see, you can't make his beard further, I can only go up to where it's up to, but I like to keep his beard short. And it doesn't cost you anything. Let's see what I got. Oh. I got eight dollars to get the way. That's it. Alright, that's it. Now, I'm gonna change, guys. You can make Arthur wear whatever you want, guys, but I'll show, I'll show you what I like Arthur to wear. That hat is fine. Yep.
And that is it, guys. That's what I like to have after it. Beautiful day, guys. 10 or 9 a.m. And the camp is 51, and I have 38. Oh no, I have to live $51. Oh no, I have 38. The camp is 51. That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go around this way. Mr. Morgan, yeah, I took gone. your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. What's well, your sit guy? yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? This is some crap right here. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> I check. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. <clears throat> Gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Oh, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? 
Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. No, you have no idea. You crazy? Reverend, stop! Reverend! Mr. Morgan! A hand here, please! Calm down! All right, get your hands off him! Say a word! You'll keep! You stay out! Oh my god, he killed him! I'm gonna keep the law on him! You're a fine man, Arthur! Damn it, Reverend! Hey, you! Get back here! I said stop, damn it! Okay. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. Now, quick, guys, oh, no, you leave a don't. comment in the section when you thought of this. Um, what the hell thing. is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Kippers, please!
when he'd show up. Hey there, Pearson. Mr. Marston. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robbing. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Easy there, now. easy. Shh, easy there. Easy. It's okay. Whoa. You'll be all right. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. 
was that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Sure seen everything. All right! right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm? Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or salt? Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Can a big man? 
mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh, I paid for... Uh, 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 this is my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Men, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Okay There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, where's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Come on. Yeah. Please, somebody, be gentle. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. We need to talk, pal. John. Mr. Please, I'm sorry. That's far enough. You have to help me! Help me! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I'm big. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? 
I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Now, sir. your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Pleasant evening to you. Welcome back. Something slipped your mind before? Drink up, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy. you about to kiss that Take guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, Five. and we have our answer. <laughs> Hold on, guys, I'll be back. get this fight on, eh? Leave a comment in the section below uh, quickly for for who will win this fight, because this guy right here, he is a big boy. Then you guys know that, because watch how many punches um, we both take. Let's get it done!
guy, guys. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough! What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Young good girl.
You guys can do mission tasks, missions in any order you want. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing. I only do it like this because I don't know. I just want to. Hey, who's there? And you go to the post office to pay off your bounties, like you know, like I did, stealing a horse. Someone went missing. Want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent... And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Let's get this on right, boy. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well... Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, good boy. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out of it. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But 
Your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. And then you can name your horse whatever. I'm gonna, cause it's a girl, I'm gonna name it, um, Beth. Partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Okay, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him oh, many I times. Oh, I stole my money, he guys. I only have wrong. 67 He just wants left. to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Loop around the other side. Hold. 
I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. Getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. What are you doing? Hold on again, go up. Look that rabbit then. You're gonna have to wait. Delicious on an open fire like this. I'll be back, guys. I'll be back, guys.
I'm back, guys. Let's go hunt a big ass bear. Fine by me. <laughs> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. It's Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. Well, fire luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. The truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Wait a minute. Something on the 
of ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. When Are it comes to a bear, guys, you like shouldn't really split up. That's not a good idea. Now we wait. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Whoa. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. You know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> You coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Alright guys, I got a map of the right. legendary animals. Like if you guys want to look at it in up. your satchel, just remember what button to press. But trust me, you can use YouTube if you can't.
actually pinpoint where the animals are. Show you where to sell it. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you kill a thousand pound bear. Look up. There you go. I'm going to show you where to sell it now, guys. So you see this guy here, Trapper? That is where you go when you're going to, when you're after legendary animals. You go to Trapper and you sell um, the skins you cut off the legendary animals. And it, if you can pick them up, then pick them up and take them with you along with their skin too. So there you go guys, and I'm just going to quickly fix up my um, health. Whoa, there it goes. So leave a comment in the um, section below guys, what do you think of me killing the bear? That's how you do it guys, you just gotta press RB while you're aiming the gun and um, press R1 and it'll put those axes into the bear then you press R2 to the fire and you just keep repeating that over and over. It's simple, really. Now, here's Trapper. Hats and gloves made to you can only sell these legendary animals um, to Trapper because butchers won't take them. Right, let's see. Ready? Sell this. 60 bucks. Look out that guys for a legendary bear skin. And there you go, you get paid that. That's it. Come on, boy. Ah. I'll be back in a minute, guys.
I'm back, guys. I'm gonna let you know something sad. Now, the bear is the only one that you can sell for 60 bucks. The rest are less. But still good pay. Let's go do Keenan. I'm just trying to speed up the line, guys, so I can uh, spin again. collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. My legs all numb. Please I'll hurry. See what I can do. <gasps> yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank well, you. You saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Yeah. It's up to you if you guys want to hurt people. But I would to keep your fun really good.
mercy. Come on. Mercy. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Why? Wow. him. Guys, I'm gonna have to get off. Like, my mum wants me off. Look, I'll continue the missions, um, more missions next time. This will be actually safe. I don't think I could save. No. Um, I'm just gonna have to exit, guys. But, hope you enjoyed this video so much. Leave a comment in the section below, guys. And, um, I'll play later on tonight, maybe, if the weather cools down a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's been hot. Right. Bye, guys.